Well, that's it. AI has figured out how to be more human than humans. And yes, I'm wearing my glasses today. Allow the giffle comments to commence. But get this, scientists from Google and Stanford have created a virtual city inhabited by generative agents trained by, you guessed it, ChatGPT. It's like Pokemon in The Sims had a 200 IQ baby that can remember the past and plan the future with the elegance of an AI-driven Jane Austen novel. These agents have the ability to draw conclusions about themselves, other agents, and their city by storing new information in memory. At the same time, the agents demonstrated plausible human behavior. For example, they coordinated plans, had meaningful conversations, and even unwound in the evenings at a bar. I mean, just imagine being in there accompanied by 25 of these sophisticated agents. You casually mentioned Valentine's Day, and they're off like an impeccably trained orchestra planning a party, extending invitations, and even finding dates. There's love in the digital air. But the scientists said there are a few problems in the experiment. Sometimes the agents wouldn't absorb information like they should. And I'm not an expert, but that does sound a lot like this human's normal behavior through and through. I mean, just ask my wife. And the agents made non-standard choices, such as visiting closed stores or choosing an evening bar instead of a cafe for lunch. Look, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes you just have one of those days where you gotta have a beer for lunch. I mean, bars do have food. And at my old job, I traveled all around the country towing a trailer. So whenever I had to go get food, I had to find a parking place, get out in my truck, go in and get it. There was no drive through for me. And do you know how many Sundays I worked where I parked, walked up to the Chick-fil-A just to pull on the door to realize it's closed? These researchers plan to improve the performance of AI bots with the more advanced GPT-4 to avoid some of these issues, but somebody tell them if they're looking for realistic human behavior, they've got it. We ain't that smart. So if you have some dumb things that the AI does, well then they've just about done it. The only thing missing is this agent starting a podcast called the Tom Marino Experience where Carlos hears a guest and after a couple of puffs from the joint says, hey Tom, what if we're in like a simulation or something? And Tom just laughs it off by saying, yeah, could you imagine? The secret sauce behind these suave digital beings lies in the fusion of large language models with computational interactive agents that possess the memory, reflection, and planning prowess of a chess grandmaster, simulating human behavior that seems real. Memory and retrieval allows agents to store a complete record of their experiences using natural language in a memory stream containing observations of their actions and others' actions that they're able to retrieve for current situations based on recency, importance, and relevance, selecting the top K memories to pass to the language model. Reflection and summarization allows them to synthesize their memories over time into higher level reflections that capture their opinions, feelings, and insights, and use reflection triggers to decide when to generate a reflection, such as at the end of the day or after an important event. The agent then uses a summarization technique to compress the selected memories into a concise reflection that is then added to the memory stream. Planning and execution allows them to use their memories and reflections to plan their future actions and achieve their goals using a planning trigger to decide when to generate a plan, such as at the start of the day or when facing a problem. They use a generation technique to produce a sequence of actions that form a plan that is added to the memory stream and executes that plan by selecting and performing one action at a time while updating the memory stream with new observations. The most important aspect here is the memory stream because without it, nothing would be feasible and it would really just be The Sims, with mindless bots roaming around with no intention or thought. That's what allows these agents to not only engage in complex behavior, but having their actions rated more human than humans role-playing. This was actually part of the study. Did you follow along with that? I hope you did, because that is a very boiled down version of this research paper and how they got all of this to work. So I hope you enjoyed it. That's about it. AI is more human than humans. Thanks for watching. Until next time.